This video explains how you create a Flex report using the Flex page designer. It shows how to select the data you want to report on and how to visualize it via a widget. The video covers the mandatory steps of the Flex report creation. In Optic 1, create a new page by selecting the icon Design in the masthead. In the Add Widget panel, the widget type group Data Visualization is pre selected and this is the most common use case. Click on Data Visualization. In the Edit Data Visualization panel, you first select the data source for the widget. There are three possible ways to do this. First, you can use a predefined query. We'll come back to this later. Two other options are accessible by selecting the plus sign. You can either use Browse a Database Table or create a query from scratch using Edit SQL Query. Let's have a quick look at the Browse Table option. Here you can choose the database table in the drop down menu. As a preview, you see table columns along with a few rows of data. If the table contains the data you want to display in your report, you can already move on to the visualization step. Let's click Cancel and select the plus sign to choose the third option, which is the query creation from scratch. Here you can put in your own SQL query. I press Cancel as I don't want to create a new predefined query, but use an existing one. I choose a query prepared for the demo report. It returns the average CPU utilization per region during the time interval. The time selector changed from 2 hours to 12 months. We will come back to this later. Let me show you what our demo query returns. For that I select the Edit Predefined Query button. The data query returns values for regions at a certain time. The resulting table only shows a few rows of data and not all query results. In the How to use a Flex report video, you have seen the result that we want to achieve, the demo overview page. For our demo report, we want that the user can select the region and the time duration for which he sees data in the report. This should be configurable by the user. So let's have a look at what you must do in the query so that these input parameters are considered. Let's have a look at the last three rows of our demo data query. An Optic One specific syntax is used in these three rows. In row 13, you see the where clause, which applies to the rows 13, 14, and 15. In row 13, it makes sure that data is retrieved for the selected regions only. In row 14 and 15, it restricts the data to the selected time duration. So in case EMEA is selected in the Omnibar, only rows are retrieved where the region matches EMEA and only if the timestamp is between the selected start and end time. The SQL query refers to two corresponding parameter queries using their variable names, region and calendar. To better understand this, let's have a brief look at the predefined query section in the category Administration. Here you find all data queries and parameter queries. There are three kinds of parameter queries. Parameters that are based on a database query, a simple value list, and date parameters. You can use a database query if the parameter values are not predefined and subject to change. For example, node names and node group names might change often. And in this case, you should get the list of available names from the database using a corresponding query. From the result, the report users can then select the nodes they are interested in. The parameter query hostname shows an additional aspect. Based on this query, only those nodes get listed in the Omnibar drop-down list for which data is actually available in the specified time span. In our case, we defined our region parameter at the parameter of type value list, as we know that the region won't change. We provided the possible values EMEA, Americas, and APJ. This avoids unnecessary database queries and can be used if the list of items is static. 
The third type of parameters are date parameters. An example in the out-of-the-box parameter query calendar with a display name time period. This is referred to in both 14 and 15 of our query. Here you can select either date range or date, but this has no effect for flex reports. This distinction is a leftover from business value dashboard. The default is set to 12 months. That is the reason why the time selected changed from 2 hours to 12 months when we selected the query. After this little excursion, let's go back to the row 13 to 15 of our data query. So to summarize, the syntax in the last three rows of our data query makes sure that the selections both in the omnibar and in the time selector are considered and you only retrieve the data for these filters. For details, please see the documentation page Data Query with Parameters. Now that we understand what data is returned and how it is filtered on the query level, let's have a look at the next step, the visualization. Open the section Visualization to define how the data will be graphically represented. As the data contains a timestamp, it makes sense to select the widget type in the drop down menu, which offers a timeline, for example, the time series line widget. Depending on the widget type you select, type specific options show up in the section. For a time series line chart, you must specify at least one metric value and a column that contains the time data. You also can decide if you want to partition the data or not. In our example here, I select the value column and it contains the metric value I want to display and the timestamp column. Your query might return time and values in different columns, so just select the appropriate columns here. If you don't see any or not sufficient data in the preview yet, then select the time range which contains sufficient data in the time selector. This input via the time selector relates to the parameter query calendar, which we saw in the data query. Its default is 12 months, which isn't helpful in our case. As my query uses the calendar start and calendar end variables, it shows data for the specified time. In my example here, I select 24 hours as time span. Without selecting the region, this preview shows all values of all regions in one line, which is not what I want. Therefore, I select region to partition my data. Dimensions are columns that define values by which the metric can be filtered or categorized. This is exactly what we need to see the data by region. The widget name is mandatory. By default, the widget name takes over the value of the query identifier. You can change it in the time series line option section. Let's use the name average percentage CPU not idle. The title changes immediately. All other settings in this section are optional. And if you don't want to set any of these at this point, then you can close the widget options. To save your page, select the Page Action menu and Save As. Saving is important because your work gets lost if you just leave the page. No warning pops up with the version 23.4 indicating that the page is not saved. Select Save as a new instance and definition. While a definition just stores the layout of a report, an instance refers to its related definition and in addition, store the current time span and filter. When you store an instance, you need to define a menu category, as you will see later. You can also save the page as the new definition without creating an instance. This option is useful when you want to offer this report only as a drill down report. In this case, the report will not appear under any category on the left. We will cover this in more detail in a later video. For this demo, I specify an instance label and I select demo as the category I want to store the instance in. As the definition label, I use my instance label without the time span, keeping the default hyphen definition as suffix. Click Save. You could save other instances with other time spans or pre selected regions based on either a definition or an instance. It's just a question of what filters you want to have preset when the instance is opened. In the Site Navigation panel, the instance is viewable in the category Demo. 
The definition can be found via the Site Navigation Panel Action menu, selecting Show Definitions as the result of searching for demo. With a few steps, you have created a report following the mandatory configuration steps and saved it both as an instance and a definition. This is an easy way to create a page. Thanks for watching. See our Optic Video Library for more videos around Optic and Flex reporting. You can find the link in the video description.